Hey everybody, this is John from Nevermore Antiques, and it is Friday, so I am going to be doing my top 30 items sold between my two accounts for the past week. We do this every Friday. I'm going to show you uh, some of the merchandise that I have sold uh, the top 15 or just 15 interesting things between Nevermore Antiques and Show Me Pickers. So let's dive into this and we're going to do, uh, looks like we're going to be doing Nevermore Antiques first. It's my main account. It's my flagship account. Um, it's the one with the most feedback. We've got like 23,000 feedback, working on that 24,000 feedback. Um, so be sure to go over and buy something from me. No, <laughs> but anyways, we're going to jump right in. Uh, the first item that I've got here I actually sold, uh, these were listed for $10.75. They were free shipping, but I sold three sets of them. So it was 30 bucks. They went media mail. They told for they sold for $10.75. Sorry, I, I can talk. It, it is, it is uh, possible for me to use speech. Uh, the next item I have here <clears throat> is a really cool uh, train. I think I sold it for like 35 bucks, free shipping. I bought them at Goodwill. I paid $6 for it. Super sweet. Um, here is a piece of automotive car part stuff. Sold it for 45 bucks, And that was, uh, that's still, I'm still selling. Two or three years ago, I bought these car parts now. And I'm still making money. That was a great buy. Great buy. All profit now. All of it is a nice, healthy profit. Uh -huh. Excuse me. These are part of that underwear lot that I bought. I paid 40 bucks for a whole box. Um, these were Target 1970s underwear. I don't know. Don't judge. $17.95 plus $5.19 shipping and handling. I sold this really nice uh, women's fossil watch. It needed a battery. Sold it for $20.65. Really good item. Probably picked it up in a jewelry lot or something for next to nothing. Um, Sold this really hard to find CD. I think I took a twenty or a twenty-five or thirty-dollar offer on it. Not exactly sure, but we did not sell it for full price. But I had nothing in it, so that is fine and dandy. Uh, bought these work boots. Got them from Goodwill. Paid fifteen dollars for them. We took an offer on them for seventy. They did ship for free. Probably about ten, fifteen dollars shipping. So we had thirty dollars into them. So the upside was forty bucks. That was a good find. They were really nice boots. Um, some perfumes. I do really well with perfume. Uh, we sold these for $26.95 and uh, $7.32 shipping. So we are now starting to charge shipping on our items. And we are doing a two-day handling time. And I have not seen a reduction in any of my sales. In fact, I'm selling as much or if not more than I was before. Um, this was listed forever. I bought this at an auction and paid about nothing for it. I had it listed for probably, golly, that thing's probably been listed for two years, but it's one of those items that you list it, you forget about it, and eventually somebody comes along and purchases it. Um, this was, I uh, just bought that. Bought this at Goodwill for two bucks, flipped it for $44.95 and $7.51 shipping and handling. That was a super sweet buy. A uh, gas pump. I bought this at an auction for, I think I paid like 15 bucks for it. Bought it a long time ago. I think I sold it for 120 bucks and free shipping. So it was a pretty good deal. Um, I had it listed for a while. So it had been listed for quite a while. I was ready to move it. Um, I did have it originally listed for 165 bucks. It was 148 and somebody offered me 120 and I sold it. It's gone. It's gone. Um, I picked these up. It's a Goodwill bin, so I had a buck in them, maybe two. Maybe there was two pounds. It's 99 cents a pound up there. This is cool. It's a piece of that old uh, clothing that uh, one of my wonderful Facebook commenters says, just never sells. You just never sell it. It's just old Walmart clothing. Well, that sold for 20 bucks. How you like them apples? Nice shirt. Um, people buy that vintage stuff. They like it. It's a cool shirt. Uh, I sold two of these. An Excellent Spirit by Andrew Walmack. 
I sold them for probably like I probably sold them for the full price, thirteen forty five. And this is a um Hey Eric. I don't know. I don't even know where Hey Eric came from. Vintage glass. Why maybe that's the name of it. Warming. Warring. Four cup, thirty two ounce clover leaf blender jar. I sold it for seventeen ninety five plus shipping. Gone. Let's look at the next item here. Oh, that was it. That was our 15 items on our main account. So that was pretty cool. We blew through them. We ran through it like the flash. Bazinga. We're ready to go on to the next account. Let's check that out. Here we go. These are silver metal fleur de les metalcraft. I don't know. I've sold, I sell them all the time. I sell them for ten ninety five. I sold uh, two to the same person for twenty dollars. Uh, they ship free and fast, so yeah, that's pretty cool. But we sell a lot of them. They're really neat. These little metal decorative pieces, you will sell the wee wee out of them. Um, here is a bunch of jewelry that I just uh, tend to lot up. Take some pictures of it and sell it as a lot on eBay. I know nothing about jewelry. So if you see my jewelry lots on eBay, you should probably buy them because there's no telling. I'm sure there's probably a real strand of pearls in there because I have no idea. Don't care to know. Um, here is my old lady's bed jacket or quilt jacket or whatever the heck you call it. I call it a bed jacket. A quilted bed jacket. I was told um, that that is pinwheel pattern. Who knew? I didn't know, but now I do know because someone told me. Um, it was by Miss Elaine. Really cool. Really cool. That's, that's, I mean, that's kind of weird. My wife laughed at me. I actually bought it for my wife because she loves Vera Bradley purses. And I call them old lady purses because they're made out of quilts. And I told her I got her an old lady coat to go with her old lady purse. And she was not impressed. It was just, it was, she didn't think it was funny. I don't know. I thought it was hilarious. Another lot of jewelry. For some reason, this stuff was listed for like a while. A while and then all of a sudden it all sold at one time that's kind of cool a little elephant with some uh, tusks but I use this thing quite often I'll get jewelry and I'll drape it on there and I sell it twelve ninety five is what I sold all that for pretty cheap excuse me it's only like 444 in the morning did you see that people 444 if you're watching this and you know you're friends with me on Facebook, you know I'm obsessed with that number. Did you just see that I yawned and I'm like, I'm tired because it's only 4.44 in the morning. That number haunts me. This is proof. This is proof. You think I'm crazy. I promise you. I did not just look up at the clock because I knew it was 4.44. It's still 4.44. This literally freaks me out. It's like the universe loves that number. I don't know what it is. If you know what 440 is, 444 is, post that down below because it follows me everywhere. It scares me. Like that just, did you see this? I'm still shocked. I'm like, holy crap, there's 444. I wish it would be 445. I can't wait for it to turn because it's still freaking me out, man. Sold a bunch of bracelets. See, I sold, I might have sold all this to the same person. I mean, honestly, I really don't know. Like, I don't ship my own stuff. I don't. I, I list it. I buy it. I list it. I put it in bags and stuff. And then I got this wonderful thing. It's called a wife. I got a wife. And she makes it all magically disappear. She packages it. She inventories it. Puts it in our warehouse. And she does my taxes. I tell you. If you don't got a wife, you need to get one. They're the best. Wives are the best. Hear that, men? Hear that? Women who like women? I'm not here to judge. Get a wife. Okay, this is a vintage Playmobil fire truck rescue toy. Yeah, I, I, 20 bucks. How much do you think I paid for that? A buck? Two bucks? Yeah, that's exactly. You're right. That's exactly what I paid for it. Ooh, these are money all the time. Sold it for twenty-five bucks plus shipping. I paid three bucks for that. The, nobody wants those. They 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 think they're 
they're bombs or they think they're I don't know incubators they have no idea no idea I buy them they're catalytic heaters you buy them you sell them for 25 bucks and shipping it's now 446 so we're safe here is another 8-track. I've been selling the crap out of these 8-tracks. I paid 50 cents for it. I sold it for 30 bucks. It's not like 60 times my money. I like to do that with about $1,000. Um, I sold this, but I didn't get $109.95 out of it. I got 70 bucks out of it. And shipping, so that was really cool. I think they paid 30 bucks and it went all the way to California, so they paid a bunch for it. Um, here's a another factory sealed A track. Let me go back. Yeah, I, I didn't sell it as is, but it should work. I don't know. I don't know. How'd that disappear like that? There we go. Another A track that I sold, really cool. Like the A tracks, love the A tracks. Um, and another set that was a two pack of A tracks for twenty five bucks. Fleetwood Mac, that's nice. Um, this was cool. This was a neat pickup. I paid three dollars for it at Goodwill, and it was minty fresh, and it sold quick. That was a bad picture. It sold quick, quick, quick. It was brand new. It just was new open box. Here's Golden Earring. I think their famous song was Twilight Zone. It was 50 cents at Walmart. Back in, is that 80, 81, 42? I don't know if that was the date. But I paid 50 cents for it in 2019 and sold it for 20 bucks to somebody on eBay. Here is a really cool, it's at the CBGB's, another 50 cent one from Walmart. Um, I sold that for 30 bucks. So you figure, every one of those 8-tracks, I sold for 50 cents. Here is an 8-track. I sold two of those at 30 bucks a piece. Those were 30 bucks. That was $60 for a dollar investment. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. And I do believe... Yep, I do believe that's it. That's everything. That is all of the items that I sold for this week. What do you guys think? I don't know how much I sold. Maybe that's something I should start doing is telling you guys what I sold. Um, but I guess we could just we could we could check. It'd be easy to tell. All I have to do is go to my eBay. We did the last seven days, we've did $762 on this account. Uh, $3,846 um, for the past 31 days on my Show Me Pickers. It's my second account. I've only got 530 items listed. Actually, I'd, if I would relist these items, I'd have 542 items listed. And then on my other account, we did... Twelve hundred and fifty-three dollars this week. So total, we did seven, eight, nine. We did about two thousand dollars in sales this week. This is decent, you know, for the month. This is at about five thousand. The other account is at almost thirty-nine hundred. So that's like almost well, ninety. What ninety-nine hundred bucks? I'm not gonna complain. That's pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. You guys are super cool. Um, I appreciate all that you do um, for my channel. I appreciate when you like. I appreciate when you subscribe. If you wait till the end of this, there will be three great videos for you to choose from. Just click on one of them. You really help me if you just click on one of them. That's my click-through rate. Just click on one. And um, keep on digging. Keep on picking. And God bless you guys. God bless you. And remember, the family that pick. Everything about you